going to cover a little bit on dual attacks, dual grabs, that kind of thing. So if Brian comes up and grab me, I've talked about in the past how three-dimensional motion is harder for the opponent to track than linear motion. So if he just resists and I try to go straight, push, pull with either arm, I, I'm never going to win against Brian. He's obviously got some bigger muscles. He's a bigger person overall than me. He's stronger. So that's not going to work for me. His brain can sense a push. And it knows if it pushes with equal force in the exact opposite direction, it's going to be, it's going to prevent me from going forward. And the same, if I start pulling, he knows pulling in the exact same position is going to work in his benefit, my detriment. So what you want to do is you want to use the 3D principle specifically on these techniques where you're in like a dual grab position. His brain cannot track if I'm doing an S with my right arm. He doesn't know how curvy that S is going to be. What's the arc going to be? If I do that and then do a, let's say, a zigzag with my left hand, he doesn't know at what point I'm going to turn around. So again, if he's tight and and I do these curvy motions or zigzags, three-dimensional attacks, he cannot track it, he cannot course correct quick enough. So again, he's tight. Now this time, I'm going to go curve, throw a curveball with my right, and I'm going to retreat with my left. So I'm right there, and his, I told him what I was going to do before I did it. But his mind didn't know how big of a curveball it was going to be. And he didn't know how big of a retreat or what angle this was going to be. So both of them curved. I ended up in this position. As a bonus, I got a little bicep pop. And now my angle of attack is lined up almost perfectly with my chest. And I'm able to do the tweet tape.